A person's First Amendment right to free speech and expression is a highly protected right, in large part without regard to the viewpoint being expressed. When a court restricts a party's First Amendment rights in National Socialist Party of America versus Village of Skokie, we'll explore what recourse the party had when seeking appellate review of the lower court's decision. In 1977, Skokie, Illinois was a predominantly Jewish populated Chicago suburb. Members of the National Socialist Party of America, also known as the American Nazi Party, wanted to use Skokie's public parks to hold public assemblies. However, Skokie required the party to obtain $350,000 in liability insurance before it would give the party a permit. In response, the party's leadership informed the town that it would hold a demonstration consisting of 30 to 50 members marching back and forth in front of the village hall, wearing uniforms with swastikas, and holding banners with swastikas and messages such as white free speech. Skokie moved for an emergency injunction in the Circuit Court of Cook County to prevent the party from holding its demonstration. At the hearing, a resident informed the town that several Jewish organizations planned to hold counter-demonstrations the same day as the party's planned demonstration with around 13,000 attendees. The Circuit Court entered an order enjoining the party from marching, displaying the swastika or generally displaying any materials that promoted hatred toward people of any faith, including Jewish people within Skokie. The party applied for a stay pending an appeal to the Illinois Appellate Court, which denied its petition. The party then filed a petition for a stay in the Illinois Supreme Court and a request for an expedited appeal. Both requests were denied. The party then filed an application for a stay with Justice Stevens of the U.S. Supreme Court, who referred the matter to the United States Supreme Court.